we're going to try to uh, test for backlash on the z-axis of the of the lathe. Again, we got a ball screw in there. Again, not as impressive as the lead screw in here. But uh, what we're going to do, uh, we have it set up on zero, and it, we were moving in this direction. So we're going to set it all the way to two inches. Uh, the indicator should read two inches and then we we'll send it back to zero and the difference between zero and what we are going to read is the backlash in the ball screw and again that might be fixed in uh, uh, different ways but uh, let's just uh, get on with it and uh, in case you're wondering I'm using uh, Mark 3 for the mill because it does have uh, a very handy setting here right on here steps per unit that allows me to uh, find a really precise value uh, for the motor uh, for the motor tuning here for this for the steps so let's move on with this test so we're gonna uh, see send it the full length of the indicator so G0, Z minus 2. Let's get a position here. There we go. Alright. So, since we have set the steps per inch properly, we get exactly 2 inches, which is great. Now, we're gonna send it back home to G0. Z0, well, the G0 is just a fast, uh, fast move. Z0 is the actual coordinate, and you see that there is some backlash in this screw, and the proper amount will uh, determine right now. Here we go. All right, let's see. Looks about. Let me line up the camera. I don't know where the camera is? Over here. There you go. Looks like about a two point. I don't know. Let's call it two point three, two point four. Uh, thousands of uh, of backlash in the screw, which is not terrible. 